If you've never heard of repositioning flights before, then prepare to have your mind blown because today we'll be visiting multiple countries, and along the way I'll show you how I saved over 100,000 points on this trip alone using repositioning flights, and how you can do the exact same thing to maximize your miles and points, or even save some cash on your next trip. Let's head to the airport. So your first question naturally is going to be, what is a repositioning flight? And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a flight that repositions you from an airport that you're currently at, or maybe your home airport, to another airport for the sake of saving money, or in our world, maximizing our miles and points. Think of it like a purposeful and intentional layover. For example, we're currently here in Charlotte, North Carolina, on our way to our next stop in Edinburgh, Scotland. And in this particular case, there are no direct flights between those two locations. So we know that no matter how we spin it, we're gonna have a layover in some city. And if I just did a quick Google flight search for them, then most of them would have a layover at major airports like Atlanta, Newark, or London on my way to Edinburgh. And that's fine, but what if I reposition myself to a specific airport and saved a ton of points in the process? Enter our first repositioning flight in this video from here in Charlotte to Orlando, Florida. If I wanted to book a regular award flight from Charlotte to Edinburgh, the best option I found was a United flight that stops in Newark, and it costs 70,000 points for a one-way economy seat. So instead, by searching for airports all along the East Coast, instead of just taking whatever pops up on Google Flights with a stopover in a random city, I was able to find this incredible redemption through Virgin Atlantic that'll take me from Orlando, Florida to Edinburgh for just 10,000 points. And if you're curious how I was able to find this flight, then stick around to the end of the video. But my wife and I are both able to fly across the Atlantic for just 20,000 points total, which is wild. The only problem is we have to first get to Orlando since we're currently in Charlotte, but I'll get to that in a second. But by booking an award flight through Virgin Atlantic, that means I'm also able to take advantage of their standard companion award seat, which is a benefit that any of you can use, and that means that my wife's award flight was only 5,000 points, since that particular benefit allows me to book a second companion seat for just 50% of the normal amount of points. Add on top of that the fact that I transferred these points during a 30% transfer bonus to Virgin Atlantic, and that means that our flight today from Orlando to Edinburgh will cost less than 6,000 points each, which full transparency is one of the most wild redemptions I have ever pulled off. Now that's great and all, and the math is definitely mathing so far, but there's two very important variables that we completely left out of that equation. The cost of our repositioning flight from Charlotte to Orlando, and then of course the significantly higher taxes and fees that Virgin Atlantic charges compared to other award programs like the original United example that I showed you. Since Charlotte is a hub for American Airlines, there are a ton of direct flights to Orlando, like this one that was $232 each, or since I just don't have enemy to pay cash for any flight, it was also bookable through British Airways for less than 8,000 avios each. Not the best redemption value, but it is still over two cents per point, and I do also think it's hilarious that our flight from Charlotte to Orlando, it's gonna cost more points than our flight from Orlando to Edinburgh. But even accounting for the cost of that repositioning flight and the significantly higher fees that Virgin Atlantic is going to charge, our original flight that would have taken us from Charlotte to Edinburgh with a stop in Newark on United was going to cost 70,000 points and $5.60 in taxes and fees per person. Meanwhile, our repositioning flight from Charlotte to Orlando followed by a direct flight from Orlando to Edinburgh on Virgin Atlantic costs a total of 14,250 points and about $158 in taxes and fees. And for anyone who's wondering, if we take the cash price of each of these individual flights, the United example gives us a redemption value of 2.2 cents per point, while the American Airlines and Virgin Atlantic example gives us a total redemption value of 13.9 cents per point. Not to mention the fact that it saved us over 50,000 points each. And remember that in many cases, the same exact concept and principles apply for cash bookings as well. So this isn't just for miles and points. And if you thought that example was crazy, just wait till you see the Virgin Atlantic upper class flight on the way home, because the repositioning flight we used for that gave us an even better redemption value. But for that, I'll catch up with you in Dublin, Ireland.
good very early morning from the Dublin International Airport. My wife and I have spent the past two weeks exploring all that Scotland and Ireland have to offer, and while we had an absolutely incredible time, it is sadly time to return home. Which brings us to our second repositioning flight, and in this case, we'll be flying business class, or more specifically, Virgin Atlantic upper class. But let's break down the numbers for today's repositioning flight, because the redemption values are gonna get even more crazy. Unlike the previous example, there absolutely are flights from Dublin, where we currently are, to our home airport in Washington. And if we really just wanted to get home as fast as possible, there is a direct Aer Lingus economy seat for 20,000 points. But Aer Lingus economy didn't sound fun, and I knew using repositioning flights, we could do a lot better. So today we'll be repositioning from Dublin to London on a short one hour Aer Lingus flight that we booked using just 4,500 Avios. And by doing so, we were able to book this $8,000 Virgin Atlantic upper class flight for fewer points than that Aer Lingus economy seat. Let's break down the numbers. The flight we'll be taking later today from London to Washington in upper class is usually 57,000 points, which is actually what I initially paid. But months after I booked it, Virgin Atlantic was running a 50% discount on reward flights to and from London. So I canceled my initial booking, which remember is usually available with most award bookings, and rebooked my 57,000 point ticket for about 28,000 points. And remember that companion award benefit that I mentioned in the first example? Well, using that, I was able to get my wife's ticket for 50 percent off of my already discounted ticket. So her upper class flight home today was only 14,000 points, bringing our total for two upper class tickets to 43,125 points. And to make this even better, since I use Virgin Atlantic frequently, I speculatively transferred points during the recent 30% transfer bonus, which means I only transferred 34,000 Amex points or 17,000 points each for this booking, which if you've been paying attention, is less than the 20,000 points for the Aer Lingus economy seat that we first looked at. Pretty wild, but again, it's very important that we consider the cost of the repositioning flight, and more importantly, the much higher taxes and fees that Virgin Atlantic charges, which were crazy expensive in this case. So let's factor those in to see if we actually still came out ahead with our repositioning flight. But first, let's head to London. All right, so option one, which most people would have gone with, is flying directly from Dublin to IED in Aer Lingus economy, which would have been 20,000 points and about $146 in fees. And at $747 if paid in cash, that gives us a respectable redemption value of three cents per point. Option two, which we went with, was taking a repositioning flight from Dublin to London, which was 4,500 avios and $15 in fees each, followed by our bucket list Virgin Atlantic upper class flight from London to Washington that after all the miles and points gymnastics that I just explained, came to 17,000 points and $794 in fees each. Total cash price for that option, including the repositioning flight, would have been around $9,000 minus the $809 in total fees, divided by the total 21,500 points each gives us a redemption value of, wait for it, 38 cents per point. Now, as always, take those redemption values with a grain of salt, especially when it comes to Virgin Atlantic, because their taxes and fees are significantly higher. In fact, the fees on this upper class flight cost more than just buying the Aer Lingus economy seat in cash. Plus, since I am always traveling with my wife, I'm able to use that companion award benefit, which when averaged out definitely increases the cents per point quite a lot. But even when accounting for all of those variables like we just did, if you can stomach the higher taxes and fees, it would be hard to argue that option two with the repositioning flight isn't the better choice because instead of eight hours in a cramped economy seat, my wife and I now get to enjoy this incredible business class lounge here at London Heathrow and get a bucket list upper class experience on our flight home. Yes, in this particular example, the fees are ridiculous, but this repositioning flight strategy certainly doesn't just apply to Virgin Atlantic. And by simply searching for a few other airports outside of your home airport, you'd be surprised by the incredible ways that you can maximize your miles and points. And if you're wondering how I search for these repositioning flights, instead of simply searching for Dublin to Washington, which in this example doesn't even show any direct business class options, I searched for all of Europe to Washington, and this is done using a tool called Seats.Arrow. Now, I want to be clear, they are not a sponsor of this channel in any way, and there are lots of other tools out there that let you do this sort of thing. But you can see that by searching all of Europe, instead of just searching from Dublin, this direct flight from London pops up for fewer points, but I can also search by country or region, making this repositioning 
positioning option pretty easy to find. Or you could use something like Google Flight Explorer, which shows you this really handy map, giving you various flight options to or from your destination. So the next time you go to book a flight, whether that be cash or points, instead of just searching from your local airport, maybe search for other airports around that region and see if you can maximize your miles and points using a repositioning flight. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And if you want to check out the latest sign-up bonuses to earn some points towards your next adventure, then I'll leave a link down in the description to our top travel credit cards page, which also helps support Daily Drop and all of this free content that we make, which we really appreciate. I'm going to go enjoy the incredible Virgin Atlantic Clubhouse here at London Heathrow. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.